Hi, my name is Stephen Perkins. Let me make sure my laptop doesn't fall. And today I am here at Ventura Cove Beach. And I'm here today to talk about fishing and the potential dangers that overfishing might cause. Now, this spot right here, it's not really a hot spot. It's kinda, I just kinda used it as a backdrop for my video. But um, there is a fisherman out there. I do see him, he's out on the rocks. And I highly doubt the video will be able to pick him up, but I see him out there, he's wearing a green shirt. And you know, I've been in those waters and there's not a lot of life, if I'm being completely honest. Um, but there's fish out there. There's some small fish out there and he could be catching those. I wish him the best. And I think that kind of segues into what I do want to talk about with this video. Because, well, like I said, this place isn't a hot spot. There's not a lot of fish out here. There's some small rock fish. There's not big game out here for these fishermen to catch. It still brings in fishermen, even if it's just this guy in the green shirt. Um, you may also see some boats passing by and it could be possible that they are fishing boats, but they're probably going out to a lot better spots to catch better fish and not just tiny rockfish that are super close to the coast. Um, fishing is a, recreational fishing is a very popular sport in basically every coastal area in the world. It, it occurs really everywhere and there's a lot of versatility that you can do with it, with that sport. There's a boat right now, by the way. I can see it, yeah. Um, and that's, it, it may seem like that sport does not cause any harm or any damage, but if it's overdone, just like with anything, it can cause harm and it can cause, cause a lot of damage. Um, you see this a lot with commercial fishing and with it being overdone. And when fishing is overdone, it can have very negative effects on the coastal environment and the coastal ecosystem where those fish live. Um, firstly, there's bycatch, which is a terrible, terrible thing. It's catching the, the animal that you don't intend and this can hurt the animal. This can hurt populations of animals. Not a good thing. Um, secondly, with, oh, when fishing is overdone, there can be um, there can be loss of uh, biodiversity, life, species variation, which is an overall harm to that ecosystem. When there's less variation, less life, this brings up an interesting problem called spatial corruption, which means the space with that the fish normally reside in and the fish normally call home in that nice healthy habitat can't really do that anymore and so now where are they supposed to go? It's basically a loss of an ecosystem. Um, and so we as humans have recognized that this is a problem and thankfully since we're not totally careless and ignorant about the environment, we have done some things to prevent it from happening and we've taken measures while also still allowing for people to, like this guy in the green shirt to still fish and still have fun and still do his sport. Um, California specifically requires a fishing license for sport fishing and this allows for spatial conservation because now instead of just going out and fishing whenever you feel like it, you gotta kinda go through a little bit of a process um, fishing licenses are also very good to have because it, they are a record of the health of the intertidal zone of California. 
So that means commercial fisheries, uh, commercial fishing and recreational fishing. This is a big boat. Um, commercial fishing and recreational fishing are now taking note and are now managing that kind of themselves and they're working in tandem with it and they're making sure that overfishing doesn't happen for this spot out here. And like I said, this spot, not very good. I've been in the waters, I've seen what it has to offer, but there is still fish out there and I really hope this guy catches some because he's, uh, he's all alone out there and I can tell he's struggling a bit, but that's a, that's a story for another day, I guess. All right. Thank you for listening.